So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, the whole purpose of this is to be able to use uh, the one-to-one -one property. Now, for us to be able to use the one-to-one -one property, as I mentioned, we have to be able to rewrite these both so they have the both same the power of 5. So what I can do, Kelsey, is I can rewrite 25 as 5 squared. Do you guys agree with me that 25 is the same thing as 5 squared? Yes. But what's important about doing it that way is now by rewriting 25 as 5 squared, do they now have the same bases? Yeah. Yes. So now I can apply the 1 to 1 property. And the other thing that also works is the, also the power rule. If you guys remember the power rule of exponents, whenever you have an exponent raised to another power, you have to multiply the powers. So I have to use distributive property here. And then also notice that the 5 on the right hand side can always be written at, rewritten as 5 to the first power. So now, so now I have 2x plus 6. Now I have 2x plus 6 equals 1. And now we can go ahead and solve. So I subtract 6, subtract 6. 2x equals negative 5. Divide by 2, divide by 2 x equals a negative 5 halves.